Hello, I'm Dave Hurst, CTO of Athena Security, and today I'd like to show you how our new Pathfinder product can help you to troubleshoot service availability problems across your network and even determine which security devices have to be touched in order to deploy changes. When something goes wrong in your network, you need to know why and how to fix it, and you need to know now. Typically, you might need to do live testing and even inject packets into the network, but this is generally not recommended as disturbing production systems can cause problems. The Pathfinder is an offline tool that you can use to visualize how firewall rules and routing tables control traffic across your network. You can use virtual packets to determine reachability and even to determine which rules might have to be changed. Let's see how Athena Pathfinder can identify the root cause of a problem and determine where changes must be made in the network. Pathfinder provides you with a graphical map of your network. It's derived from the configurations of the network security devices. The diagram is constructed by importing the device configurations into the inventory and then dragging the device icons from the inventory and dropping them onto the diagram. Connections between the devices are identified automatically and you can build out the diagram by simply following the connections. Then you only need to arrange things so that the diagram looks pretty. In this completed diagram, we see several firewalls, routers, and even layer 3 switches depicted. Endpoint devices such as servers can be represented as well. Connections between these devices are determined from the network interface and routing table information in the device configurations. The cloud icons represent internal networks, the tower icons represent DMZs, and these tunnel entrance icons indicate static VPN tunnels. Since this is an active diagram based on the device configurations, I can query it to find out more about the behavior of the network. For example, I might want to know what destinations in the network I can get to from the internet. To do this, I'll use the Analyze From Query tool and click on the Internet node at the top of the diagram. Pathfinder performs a deep data flow analysis of the routes, ACLs, and address translations across the devices in the network to deter determine which sources, destinations, and services are accessible. The result is overlaid on the diagram. These green lines show where access is allowed from the Internet, and we see that several DMZs and even some internal networks are exposed. To find out more detail, we can look at the policy result window here. This shows each of the paths that were identified by the query. I'll select this one to the Mail1 DMZ network. Now, only that path is highlighted on the diagram. If I go to the Result Details tab, it displays the result in a canonical form, showing the Allow or Deny Action, Protocol, Source Address, Source Port, Destination Address, and Destination Port as a tree. Because this result is displayed as a tree, I can reorder it to make it more useful for different purposes. In this case, I'll put the destination address at the top followed by the service. Now we see that a single host is a destination in the Mail1 network and that the SMTP service is allowed to it. There are several sources that are allowed access to this SMTP service. Now let's suppose there's a host in this MD2 network that I want to have access to the mail server in the Mail1 DMZ. In order to find out why access is not being allowed, I'll use the Packet Tracer tool. I'll select the MD2 network as my source, and then specify the source address, 192.168.10.5, which is a host in that DMZ, and the destination address of the mail server, which is 62.59.14.163, and then specify SMTP since that is the mail service that we're interested in. The result of the packet tracer is again overlaid on the diagram and we see the routable path that the packet would take from our origin network MD2 all the way to the destination mail server device in the Mail1 DMZ. But notice this time in addition to the green lines showing where access is allowed we also see red lines and this is telling us that although the path is routable all the way to the destination, there are actually devices along that path which are blocking the packet. And in fact, we've identified several devices that block the packet. Looking at the result details in the lower window, we see all of the rules that affect the packet as it travels along the routable path. The specific ACLs or NATs that are blocking the packet are highlighted in red. This allows us to determine exactly where we need to make the changes in order to allow the service. Packet Tracer Result View shows the rules in a device-independent normalized form. 
but I can see the actual native rule by clicking on it. It is then displayed in the context of the original device configuration. Now, I know exactly where in the configuration to add the rule to allow the SMTP service through to the mail server. You can also generate a report from this packet trace result, allowing you to easily share the information with team members. The report is in an Excel spreadsheet format, so it's easy to repurpose for other uses. The first tab summarizes the result and provides an interpretation of the trace, explaining root causes. For example, routing conflicts, missing gateways, and NATing issues can all be identified. The second tab shows the devices along each path identified in the result and the rules acting on the packet. As we have seen, Pathfinder operates offline and uses device configuration data to accurately predict packet traversal through the network and to isolate the root cause for traffic behavior. It can identify precisely which devices in the network must be touched and which rules in those devices need to be modified. Pathfinder is a very flexible tool, can zero in on specific parts of your network. Different users can create views that are specific to their own perspectives. For example, firewall engineers may need to model just the firewalls. On the other hand, network ops teams may be more concerned with network reachability. Pathfinder can accommodate all of these scenarios and can be scaled to any size enterprise. For more information about Pathfinder, or Athena's other firewall and network security solutions, please visit our website at www.athenasecurity.net or send an email to sales at athenasecurity.net. Thank you.